Hello and welcome back to Cloveriness. My name is Michelle and this video is going to be a review of Sometimes It Happens by Lauren Barnholt. Now this author is the author of some other contemporary love stories like Two Way Streets and One Night That Changes Everything and The Thing About the Truth. Um, and I've read all three of those books. I haven't read her other book. Um, I think it's called Watch Me. Um, and to be honest, I think that I bought this book just because of the name. Um, it was kind of a impulse buy and if I'd looked into it a little bit more and sort of questions, you know, sometimes what happens, I probably would not have bought this book if I'm completely honest because I really, really, really do not enjoy books involving cheating storylines. I really don't. It's one of those things that just completely puts me off a book um, and that is what this story is about. Now this story is told in two parts. First, in the present day, as um, high school senior Hannah is starting her first day at school and she's sitting in the car park completely nervous and sort of anxious about her first day of school and that is because she doesn't want to run into her ex-boyfriend, Sebastian, who cheated on her um, at the end of at the end of junior year, she doesn't want to run into her best friend and she, uh, her best friend's called A- She doesn't want to run into her best friend Ava and she definitely doesn't want to run into her best friend Ava's boyfriend Noah. You can sort of guess where this story is and it's not spoiling it at all to tell you that Hannah and Noah have a thing uh, together over the summer. And that is the second timeline that we see while we're reading this book is it, it jumps back to that day at the end of junior year when Hannah realizes that her boyfriend Sebastian is kissing another girl in a hot tub and uh, her sort of emotional breakdown afterwards but it also tells you know what happened over the summer and how events led up to the fact that Hannah and Noah being an item together and the, I guess the thing that I enjoyed the most about this book is that it was it was pretty emotional reading. Uh, a lot of scenes were were very heartbreaking, and I felt the heartbreak as I was reading it. Uh, I I like that a lot of the the storyline is is down to Hannah and Ava's friendship, and you know the cracks and things that have already started appearing within this this friendship, and how that leads to some of the cheating that happens. And the third thing that I really liked about this book is uh, seeing how, you know, cheating can happen sometimes. There's a whole lot of cheating involved in this book. Not only Sebastian cheating on Hannah and Noah cheating on his girlfriend Ava with Hannah, but there are also secondary characters who are dealing with the fallouts of their boyfriend or girlfriend cheating. There's one particular character who has cheated on two of his previous girlfriends and he, he kind of owns and admits that. And um, what it's showing us is that there are all kinds of different circumstances involved with cheating. And um, while I still, I still don't, I, and while cheating still drives me crazy and I don't love it, uh, with this book in particular I can, um, I can see, you know, sometimes it does happen. I thought that was portrayed very well throughout the book. I also really enjoyed seeing um, the, the two timelines uh, go through that the one in the past that spans the summer was really fun and um, interesting to see, especially as a lot of it is Hannah trying to pick herself up from heartbreak and move on. Um, and then the second one that spans an entire day, the first day of high school, uh, senior year for for everyone, is, is Hannah sort of finding the strength within herself uh, to confront, I guess, confront and sort of own up to her her actions and her feelings towards everyone in her life, both, you know, her ex-boyfriend, her best friend, uh, Noah, and herself a bit. Um, I thought this was a really... F 
I was just gonna say fun just then, um, but it's it, it's not. It's I guess it can be fun in parts, in other parts it's quite serious. Um, I thought it was really emotional. Um, but yeah, um, it made me think and it, it did make me reconsider my thoughts on cheating, so I thought that it was really well done and I did rate this four stars on Goodreads. Have you read this book or any other books by Lauren Barnholt? What do you think about cheating in, you know, young adult fiction storylines? Do let me know! I always love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.